To understand the changes in climate we're seeing today, we really need to understand the Earth system as it operates as a whole. The ice cores themselves provide the highest resolution uh, record of environmental changes over the last several hundred thousand years. Much of my research into ice cores involves improving the interpretation of records within the cores. One of the key signals we get in the ice cores is that of the isotopic content of the ice. Within a water molecule, we have oxygen 18, which has two more neutrons than does oxygen 16, the most common isotope. That heavier isotope will be less readily evaporated into the air. Its resistance to evaporate increases as temperatures drop. And so this is a signal that we use to back out past temperatures uh, of the planet. By understanding factors other than the temperature at the site where the snow, snow fell and the ice core is built over time, you can tease out things like changes in humidity at the ocean source. You can look at changes in the trajectory. You can look at changes in humidity at the uh, precipitation location. The characteristics of the transportation through the atmosphere from the oceans to the site of the ice core. We can better interpret the ice core, get a more solid understanding of the temperature changes that occurred at the location of the ice core.